Pipe and Drum Corps. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the first annual McAllen Stair Climb. We are so happy to have you here on this somewhat rainy day. I'm Roxanne Latimer, your Master of Ceremonies for today's event. We want to encourage our climbers to get as close to the stage as possible because immediately after our opening ceremony, we'll, we're going to be taking an awesome group picture of all 343 of us. So if y'all can please crowd into the front. Our formal assemblies begin with a presentation of the colors. Please place your hand over your heart. All uniform personnel present arms. Members of the McAllen Fire Department Honor Guard will now present our colors. Our national anthem will now be sung by Nikki Rose student Mariana Velasco. Chaplain Herb Willick with the Lower Rio Grande Valley Firefighters and Fire Marshals Association will now provide the invocation for this morning's ceremony. Good morning, all gentlemen, thank you for your hats, please, and 
Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and thank you for all these people who are here today. And we, we may remember the firefighters and brothers and sisters that we lost 13 years ago. And we with men and women as they climb the stairs that they may come back safely and come down in an orderly manner. And dear Lord, be with each and every one of us as we return to our homes. And all of this we ask in the name of your Son. Christ. Amen. Thank you, gentlemen. Next up, we'd like to introduce our event director, and that's a face that you probably all recognize, Mr. Mark Zamora. He was actually one of our trio that won the Good Morning America Five Alarm Challenge, and, and he has been working tirelessly and losing sleep to put this all together. So, Mr. Mark Zamora. Thank you, Roxanne. Good morning and welcome to the first annual uh, McAllen Zero Climb. 9-11, we all remember the day. Uh, America was, was hit with a series of terroristic, terroristic attacks. Uh, commercial airplanes uh, struck the Twin Towers, instantly killing you know, all those that were directly involved. The FDNY responded with two five alarm fires in each tower that day, and 343 didn't make it back. Every one of you that have a tag, that has a tag, please look at your that, that tag at this moment. Look at that picture. That person looking at that you're looking at right now, they didn't make it home. They left the family behind that still mourns their lost. They left a country behind that will never forget. And today you are here to climb in, in memory of them. And that is something that that you should be proud of. When you when you finish a climb, you climb in their memory, you will go up to this memorial display and ring the bell once as a tribute that they have completed the call or you have carried them up. Once again, I'm very proud of you guys. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy that you guys are here, and this is such a great event uh, to pay tribute to our 343 that gave their lives to uh, in the rescue efforts that day. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Next up, some ladies that also probably don't need any introduction here in the Rio Grande Valley. Our Mayor Pro Tem and Commissioner Hilda Salinas, and our Commissioner Veronica Bella Whitaker. Good morning. Muy buenos días. On behalf of the mayor and the McGowan City Commission, I want to welcome each and every one of you to the McGowan Stair Climb, the first event of its kind in the Rio Grande Valley. I would like to extend a sincere thank you to the volunteers and the sponsors for assisting the McGowan Stair Climb Committee in bringing this event to life. Let us recall that today's stair climb is not a race, but instead a tribute to honor the sacrifices made by our fallen heroes. More specifically, as Mark said, the morning of September 11, 2001, thousands of New York firefighters climbed 110 stories in each of the two World Trade Center towers as they responded to a terrorist attack on U.S. soil. With law enforcement officers working alongside them, each firefighter carried between 40 to 60 pounds of protective gear and additionally, the weight of the firefighting equipment they needed up those 110 floors. Today's participants not only embody the sacrifice, dedication, and commitment of those 343 firefighters who lost their lives on the morning of September 11th, but of all those first responders who choose to risk their lives every day to serve and protect their communities. Therefore, I wish to extend a heartfelt thank you 
especially to all of you, our participants. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us the privilege to witness such an inspirational event. Through you, every person that is standing here this morning watching you reach your goal of climbing 110 stories will undoubtedly receive a solemn reminder of the immeasurable value first responders such as police, fire, and EMTs have to our communities. Buena suerte, and once again, thank you for accompanying us this morning. Good morning and welcome to each and every one of you this morning. It's an honor to be standing here this morning before each and every one of you. And I am going to participate with you guys, with all of you who have saved our lives, with all of you who have been brave and courageous enough to take on the task of being a firefighter. I am honored to be part of your group. And today I want to congratulate each and every one of you for taking part in today's activity and for taking the time to climb those stairs as they did in 9-11. As I was printing out the picture of my firefighter, I was looking at him and I looked at his age. He would be the same age as I am today. And he has two children, just like I do. And I think back and I think all of the memories and the wonderful joys and the moments that I have experienced with my kids, he's lost out. But he is their angel. So as you walk up each stair today, look at your man here and remember that your angel is with you the entire time that you are climbing. So good luck today. Pray just one time during your, your stair climb today. And thank God for your life. And thank God for our firefighters and all those who take into consideration our lives and save us each and every day. And good luck. Thank you so much, ladies. Chaplain Willett will now reside the fireman's prayer. Fireman's prayer. When I'm called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage, give me the strength to save some life, whatever their age. Help me to embrace a little child before it's too late or some older person from the heart of that faith. Enable me to be alert and hear the weakness shout and quickly and effectively to put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and give the best in me to guard my neighbor and property his, protect his property. And if according to my faith I am to lose my life, Please bless with your protective hand my children and my wife. Amen. The bell ceremony. In the past, as firefighters began their tour of duty, it was a bell that signaled the beginning of that big shift. Throughout the day and night, each alarm was sounded by the bell, which summoned these brave souls to fight fires and to place their lives in jeopardy for the good of their fellow citizens. And when the fire was out and the alarm had come to an end, it was a bell that signaled to all the completion of that call. When a firefighter had died in the line of duty, paying the supreme sacrifice, it was the mournful toll of the bell that solemnly announced a comrade's passing. We utilize these traditions and symbols which reflect honor and respect on those who have given so much and who have served so well. To symbolize the devotion that these brave souls have for their duty, a special signal of five rings, three times each, represents the end of our comrades' duties and that they will be returning to quarters. And so, to those who have selfishly given their lives for the good of their fellow man, their task completed, their duties well done. To our comrades, their last alarm, they are going home. All uniform personnel, freeze at all.
All you and more personnel, on our own! all our honor guards. That flyover from Air Evac concluded our opening ceremony. Again, we want to remind our climbers to stay here by the stage. Non-climbers, please clear the area. We're actually going to be facing towards the east. The photographer's right back there. We want our firefighters in the front and the rest of our climbers towards the back. Again, thank you so much for joining us for our first annual McAllen Stair Climb. And remember who it is that you're climbing for.